Hi and welcome to the sixth section of this course, Handling Models in TensorFlow. In this section, we are going to look at importing a Keras model into TensorFlow. We need to do this as most of the development that is happening in the data science and deep learning world tends to happen in Keras because Keras has been there for quite some time. There's a chance that even you have some models inside your Keras. Next, we'll see how to save and load our TensorFlow models. We need to do this since we do not want to train the model each time. After that, we'll see importing TensorFlow models into TensorFlow.js. This is quite similar to importing Keras but still different. And finally, we'll be seeing a video on playing Pac-Man using our webcam. In the final video, we'll combine all the knowledge that we have gained to develop the game. In this video on importing a Keras model into TensorFlow.js, we are going to look at Python TensorFlow.js converter, Python API to export directly to TensorFlow.js and how to load a model into TensorFlow.js. Let's first look at the Python TensorFlow.js converter. We need to first install TensorFlow.js for Python. We do this using the pip command. We enter pip install TensorFlow.js. Next, we use model.save file path to save the model in Keras. After the model has been saved in Keras, it contains both the model as well as the weights. We then enter this command to convert the saved Keras model into a TensorFlow.js model. Here, we are assuming that the model is saved in a HDF environment and the name of the model is my model. We are converting it to a TensorFlow.js model called TensorFlow.js target dir. There is another way to export the model directly to TensorFlow.js using TensorFlow.js inside the Python environment. We first import TensorFlow.js as tfjs and then we can enter the command tfjs.converts.savekeras model and enter the model as well as the tfjs target directory. This will save the Keras model directly as a TensorFlow.js model. To load the model, it should be hosted on a server and a cross-origin resource sharing should be allowed. To load the model, we have to enter the following command, which is cons model equals to await tf dot load model and then specify the name of the model. In our case, the sample name is model.json. This model can now be used as any other model created inside TensorFlow.js. You can use any command which comes along with the model including predict. After it has been loaded, it makes additional HTTPS requests to obtain the shared weight files reference in the model.json weight manifest. But the good thing is, model is cached by the browser allowing faster load in the future. In this video we saw how to use a pre-saved Keras model as well as how to save a Keras model directly as a TensorFlow.js model. 